Welcome to the Weekly Report. I hope you all had a fantastic 4th of July weekend. Happy belated birthday, America. And as you may have noticed, we're a little late this week. We usually come out on Wednesday. Today we're releasing on Thursday. Sorry about that, but the holiday weekend did delay some of the statistical data and our usual filming schedule. I apologize if any of you were searching unsuccessfully for us yesterday, but we are here now. For Randall Riley, I'm Joshua Miller. Now let's get to it. This week in job board searches and clicks. Truck driver searches were down 7% week over week, but up 2% month over month and 6% year over year. Clicks on truck driver postings were down 7% week over week, 8% month over month, but they were up 3% year over year. Last week saw both searches and clicks drop by that 7%. Clicks on company drivers and owner-operator job postings declined, but clicks for team and inexperienced or trainee drivers increased. Now remember, we are talking about last week here, so the upcoming 4th of July holiday likely had a role to play in those decreases. This week in freight. Load volume was down by 9% week over week. Although refrigerated rose by 2% and dry van inched up by 0.3%, flatbed brought the overall number down by falling 16% week over week. Truck availability fell by 1% week over week, and this time the dip can be blamed on dry van. Dry van availability fell by 6%, while both refrigerated and flatbed were both up by 1% week over week. Now, traditionally, June represents the peak of the spot market, followed by steady declines. That trend was broken, however, in 2020 as the economy began to rebound from lockdowns. Though last week was down and a little weak overall, much of that can be contributed to the holiday. Spot rates increased by two cents week over week, which brings the overall rate just three cents below the record rate set earlier this year. Dry van and refrigerator rates were both up seven cents week over week, while flatbed increased by one cent week over week. Moving forward with strong consumer demand, a recovering recovering industrial sector, multiple supply chain disruptions, and tight driver capacity, we have no real reason to expect any seasonal weakness as we continue through 2021. But coming off that down holiday week we just talked about, it could take a few more weeks to really know if any true seasonality is still at play in the current spot market. And now for our story of the week. As of right now, it's looking like retailers are not likely to enter the all-important important Christmas shopping period with pre-pandemic inventory-to-sales ratios. The ratio of inventories to cost of goods sold, COGS, for the retail trade, less motor vehicles and parts, are down pretty substantially from typical levels. Sales in March of this year were 19.5% above those in March of 2019, and April sales topped the 2019 levels by 16.3%. That sounds pretty good, right? We're turning the corner, people are spending money, trucks are moving, all is right with the world. But, as the Sunshine Scooter would say, not so fast, my friend. The problem is, real inventories are only up by 0.9% and 1% from March and April of 2019. There's a big difference in the sales and inventory numbers there, right? So the question becomes just how much must retailers replenish inventory if they are to bring their real inventory to the COGS statistical level of October 2019 this year? And we're using October here because that's typically when retailers are prepping for that big peak in sales that comes with the holiday shopping period. Now, based on a lot of number crunching and math that is way over my head, it turns out retailers would need to obtain approximately $190 billion in goods relative to the same period in 2019. And if you're wondering, that equates to a 12.5% increase in goods compared to 2019. Given where things stand right now, it seems highly unlikely that retailers will be able to hit that goal. The good news for carriers is because retailers are a little bit behind the eight ball here, any slack in the freight market between now and October will likely be filled filled with retailers scrambling to rebuild their inventory levels, which translates to very favorable freight conditions for carriers. And that does it. A lot of percentages and dates in there, but if you want to dig into where those numbers like the $190 billion came from, We'll have some info on the paper it was taken from in our weekly Trucking Insight PDF, and I'll also leave a link in there so you can access it yourself if you'd like. 
Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can find that link to our Insight PDF down in the description over on the blog. If you scroll down the page, you'll see a clearly labeled section with a nice picture. Just click it and presto. Speaking of our blog and YouTube page, go ahead and poke around a little bit. There's a lot of other great driver recruiting content available for you there, such as a brand new Listening In with Seth. The latest episode is part of an ongoing series where Seth not only listens in on recruiting calls and dissects them a little bit, but he is currently working his way through to tell you exactly how to build and have the perfect recruiting phone call. The newest episode is part two in that series. We'll leave some links for that as well. Uh, and if you haven't checked out part one yet, what are you waiting for? If you like what you see on our YouTube page, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that little net. Bleh. I cannot talk today. That notification bell so you know exactly when we post new video content. Over on our blog page, you can sign up for our monthly newsletter. That goes out the first week of the month, and we feature some of our newest or freshest content there. All right. Shameless plug is now over. Thanks again for joining us for the weekly report. Sorry we were a little bit late this week. The fourth kind of threw us off a little bit. But we will be back on our normal Wednesday morning release next week. Until then... Have a great week, everybody. Mm -hmm.